So right now you're looking at an image in the website. It's really diagramming everything that can happen uh, when light is interacting with matter, with surfaces, with molecules. What happens in that process in the lifetime of the photon? And what I like about this diagram is it's, it's, it's actually diagramming everything happening at once, which is more realistic of what's actually happening. Remember that when we say incident radiation, what we're talking about, light is directional, and so we have a language for light that's being emitted from surfaces. That's gradient extents, radiance, radiation. And we have the, the, the language, the terminology for the light that is incident upon a surface. And so what we would call this, we would probably correct this, to call this irradiance, right, NC, or irradiation as well, right? So either one of these is talking about light incident upon a surface. And so again, what we're seeing is light coming in to a, a surface. This is really meant to be indicative of what's happening in the atmosphere. And so we have light that is absorbed by this material, and this could be the atmosphere. We have, or, or, or it could be um, clouds, uh, could be water molecules for that matter. We have scattering happening in, and the scattering events are basically reflection, so backscattering is really uh, indicating reflection. Absorption is uh, indicated by alpha. So we have scattering events on a surface, even though that surface in our case is a single dot. And the scattering in our case could be uh, backscattering. Uh, it could also be forward scattering uh, happening. And uh, that's why you have these two different arrows. And the last that you have is transmission. And that's really like that nothing was absorbed. So we're going to diagram that with a circle. Uh, that's going to be a tau equal to, or uh, let's say, a tau approaching 1. Something that uh, is very transparent is going to have a, um, a coefficient or a fraction, fractional value closer to 1. Something that is very dark, very opaque, is going to have a fractional value close to 1 for alpha. And somewhere in between this, all of these things happening, we have to recognize that all this light coming in right, is going to be equal to 1 in a fractional sense. And then the three different things that can be happening is it could be absorbed, it could be reflected, and it could be transmitted. But the, the balance of all of that energy is still going to add up back into one. So we can have a very opaque material, which will have a high absorption coefficient and a transparency that will go towards zero, in which case uh, we'll have basically just absorption and reflection happening. Um, and uh, that reflection and absorption process happening is, is called a gray body. So it's an opaque material that reflects some of the light and absorbs the rest of the light that is incident upon that surface. And if you think about it, when we want to call something a black body, what a black body means is that the absorption is all one. Okay? It's absorbing perfectly. It's not reflecting any of that light. It's not transmitting any of that light. That is a black body. And a black body, like the sun, which is a very close approximation of a black body, is also going to be use Kirchhoff's law. So you'll have absorptance equal to emittance. And so the emittance is going to be equal to 1 as well. So we've got some pretty interesting stuff going on that's really uh, demonstrating everything that we've learned about light so far. And uh, we've de demonstrated that we've got a few diagramming techniques that will tie this together.